Live from KTTC, this is News Center at 6. Heavy rain and strong winds is causing flooding and damage throughout the area. We've been tracking tornado warnings in Iowa, traffic backups in Austin, and many outages in Rochester. We'll continue our Weather Authority coverage right now. Thank you for joining us. So we're going to continue to track severe weather. We're hoping the worst has passed us. Let's hope so. And we have crews throughout the area surveying the damage. But first, we take you to our chief meteorologist with the latest details. Nick, what can you tell us? Thunderstorms well off uh, to our south and our southeast as of now. So good news there. Currently still dealing with some moderate to heavy rainfall uh, here in Rochester, especially north of Rochester and then just to our south here uh, right along I-90. No warnings in the immediate viewing area. So good news there. As uh, we do, though, look down to our south and southeast to still have a warning uh, for Elmakee uh, County, uh, the far eastern portion of that heading towards uh, the Wisconsin border there uh, until uh, the bottom of the next half hour and then another one uh, for Grant. That's well out of our viewing area. Now estimated rainfall totals the past 24 hours. Austin, we do have Alex Tejada there alive this evening. We'll get to him in a second, but they've seen upwards of four to six, even seven inches of rain in the past 24 hours. That's why portions of I-90 were shut down there uh, in Austin and Freeborn County here in Rochester officially just under two and a quarter for uh, rainfall totals, so about two to four inches widespread in Olmstead County. So quite a bit of rainfall has fallen. Current watches outside. We have a tornado watch well off to our east. We won't have to worry about any type of tornado, any type of tornadic systems throughout the rest of the evening. Flash flood watch, though, still in place uh, for portions of Rochester into Austin. Uh, so in, into Olmstead, into Freeborn and Dodge counties until 1 a.m. Severe thunderstorm watch well to our south. So I don't think we're looking at severe weather for the rest of the night tonight. So that's good news there. Just some spotty showers and thunderstorms until about 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Then we slowly clear those skies out. Temperatures tomorrow will be pretty nice. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s. Today the high temperature was 67 for the high officially just uh, uh, over two and a quarter for rainfall totals for the past uh, 24 hours. So that includes the storms from this morning and now this afternoon as well. Good news is much quieter weather on the way as we head towards your weekend. We'll take a look at that in your weather authority forecast. Guys, over to you. Thank you, Nick. And now we continue our team coverage of today's storms. Linda Haas live in Rochester where she has uh, seen some major backups uh, today because of the storm. Linda, what's the latest? Well, Tom, Vivian, good evening. We're on Broadway Avenue South and 20th Street, and it's actually looking drastically different than it did just an hour ago. Right now, pretty light rain, so no major problems in this area. The roads, though, are still pretty busy as people are commuting home from work. Biggest concern, slippery roads and heavy rain making it really challenging to see out here, although that's coming in waves. And as we were traveling along Highway 52 and Highway 63, the traffic has been steady but slow. Drivers are going about 15 miles per hour slower than the speed limit. And as always, officials are reminding people to turn on those car headlights. And speaking of lights, it's been a very busy day for RPU. They've been out all day working to restore power in different parts of the city. Uh, according to their map, it looks like um, they are making some progress there downtown area. They were out for about 30 to 40 minutes, but we'll have a full report on outage coming up. Here in Austin, the rain is only lightly falling now, but the downpours in the past 24 hours have done their damage. Behind me, Dreisner Park, which is normally a disc golf course, resembles more of a swamp this afternoon. And what started as flooding in the lower lying area spread into the downtown area and Oakland Avenue and has now caused closures on I-90. There are closures around exit 175 where the police have blocked off one lane and they're completely rerouting traffic when it comes to exit 177, the Riverland Community College exit. People are using highways 218 and other places. Those roads will remain closed until traffic is deemed to be safe as those roads are currently underwater and on the embankments on the sides of the road, just heavy streams of water. So be careful when driving out there. Live in Austin, Alex Tejada, KTTC News.
Thank you, Alex. And with all of this severe weather, thousands of customers have gone without power this evening. And KTTC's Holden Krismark has an update now on the, on the work that's being done with these outages as they try to restore power to almost everyone. Holden, what's the latest? All right, well, Tom and Vivian, I'm here on Broadway Avenue, and as you can see behind me, these street lights, they're still flashing red. Everything's still not back up to normal. Many businesses and homes around the area have lost power, and as I was driving down Broadway Avenue around 3 p.m., just across the street over here, a giant bolt of lightning hit a street light and sparks went flying. RPU said on their Twitter that every possible RPU person is helping to support outage res restoration efforts. And according to their map, it looks like they're making progress. I was also at the Rochester Area Foundation earlier. And when I was speaking with staff in the middle of that interview, the power flickered and went out. And then after that, I was speaking to Olmstead County Sheriff Kevin Torgerson. He said the government yeah. center also lost power this afternoon before their generators kicked in. They suspect RPU suspects some of the outages are due to lightning, rain and strong winds, but have almost all outages under control. And as RPU and also public works workers get on the road, they're trying to weather this storm. We'll bring you all the latest as we learn more about the power outages in our area. For now, reporting live in Rochester, Holden Cruzmark, KTDC News. Thank you, Holden. And for the latest information, download the free KTTC weather app available now on Google Play and the App Store. And still ahead, a man involved in a deadly rollover this past spring makes a plea in court. Also tonight, another crash from this morning on Highway 52. It held up the commute for many for some time. I'll tell you what happened coming up.